it was kind of kind of sad you know you imagine your baby being perfect when they're born and then for the doctor to come in and say oh she's not passing her hearing exam my heart kind of just dropped for melissa finding out her daughter sammy was born profoundly deaf was a shock with two other children hearing normally melissa was at a loss to help her daughter you have thoughts of how are they going to play with their siblings? How is she going to communicate with us? You know, how am I going to tell the family? What's the next step? Enter Hope School, a melody in a world without sound. Standing for Hearing Oral Program of Excellence, Hope School is a nonprofit that seeks to give children born with hearing loss the chance to listen and speak as well as their peers. For Sammy and the other children at Hope School, the use of cochlear implants and hearing aids give them access to sound, but the staff at Hope School give them access to meaning. So you put those hearing aids on, you get that cochlear implant, but it's just access to hearing. These children have to learn how to listen. At Hope School, every opportunity is a language opportunity. And on the journey to hope, they'll be narrating life. So what's a typical day at Hope School? As one of the only schools of its kind in Washington, Hope has access to some of the best staff in the field. Amy Hardy, certified teacher of the deaf, takes us through the learning process of a child with hearing loss. So we do teach parents to narrate their life because they need to talk about kids with hearing loss need to hear the word twice as many times as a child with hearing. So we do talk to them about um, when you're getting in the car, I'm going to take the handle and I'm going to open up the car door and we're going to, I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to put you in your car seat. Cognitively, children with hearing loss are right on par with kids their age. They just have trouble understanding some concepts we tend to know naturally. Treasures? So they need to be taught to interpret the sounds that they're hearing. Whether it be, is that a dog that just barked? Or is that a female voice? Or is that a 14-year-old girl? Or is that my mom? So they have to learn and be taught how to listen. It really helped her with um, being around other kids, getting used to listening to different sounds. I love books. Do you guys love books? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was kind of a little worried at first because she was everywhere. She wouldn't just sit still and she didn't want to listen. She was everywhere, you know, and um, it wasn't much time after that and she just fit right in with the program and started to blossom, so. Hearing is something that these kids don't take for granted. They're hardworking and dedicated, going the extra mile even with activities that seem frivolous. Singing acts as an unlikely learning tool for the students, despite the stigma that deaf children can't sing. Singing is so great because they can hear all those different the melodies and the intonation up and down. And, you know, a lot of kids really believe that, you know, deaf kids can't sing. And really, you know, they do really pretty well with songs. And a lot of the words are repetitive, which is really nice. And, and they really love music. So music is a really good um, development for the brain. With only two and a half hours per day to work, the students take advantage of every moment. Even snack time becomes a learning opportunity. It isn't hard to see what makes Hope School such a special place, but the children aren't the only thing that make it so unique. The Hope School has a partnership with the Speech Language Pathology Master's Program at WSU and EWU, giving graduate students a chance to teach and learn from these amazing kids. Sandra Bassett supervises the program and tracks the progress of the children and the grad students alike. I think one of the most rewarding things is that over half of our children will go into a classroom, go into the, to either a private or public school, but they will be at age level. We have some kids in the, the we have a couple of them right now that will, that are three years above their age level and their speech and language skills. So that is tremendously rewarding. Every day, the graduate students work with children one-on-one -on -one to achieve their individual goals. This time allows graduate students to learn how to work with kids with hearing loss, 
a skill that is sure to help them later in life, as chances are they will encounter kids with hearing loss at some point. It's, it's such a win-win program because the graduate students get to learn about working with kids with hearing loss and, and the students and the kids get to learn from them. It seemed like every time I got down about how well she was doing, or not well to me, she would just prove me wrong and the next week she would be doing so much more than she was the week before. The only thing more important than the grad student involvement is parent involvement. Speaking and learning in school is only half the battle, the rest of which continues at home. Every day the parents are given a letter that recaps the lesson of that day so that parents can continue to use that language at home. As the parent of a child with hearing loss, Kim understands the importance of being fully invested in helping a child develop outside of school. You know, I see it happening and, and, and I get excited when I see parents who step up and are involved and take the tools that Hope School gives them in that daily letter that has those pictures of the day um, and that gives them the recap of what happened during the day and they sit down with their child and they talk about what happened at school today? Having a child with hearing loss can be a difficult transition for families as they accommodate to their child's needs. Hope School offers a support group for families, Families in Support of Hearing, or FISH, to show parents that they are not alone. It's wonderful for them to have those connections with other families as well, so that they can tap into seasoned parents who've been there, done that. Um, it's beneficial for those kids to be around other kids that wearing, are wearing hearing aids and cochlear implants so they realize that they're not the only ones in this community. Hope School is more than just a place. It's more than daily letters and individual goals. Hope is a series of moments where hearing loss changes from a disability to a point of strength. And so this highly specialized program has given them those life skills to be really successful. So I still marvel and my heart still leaps and my, I well up with tears when I see these kids doing so incredibly well. You know, walking out the door fully confident that, yeah, I have hearing loss, so? You know, Hope School means to me to give these kids with hearing loss a real chance to, um, to really learn to listen and talk, to be mainstreamed in the schools with little support, and um, to give these families hope that their kid will be just like every other kid. Hope School means everything. <laughs> Honestly, um, I don't know where we would be without the Hope School. They have helped us so much as far as with just support and um, letting us know about expectations, questions, um, different things and techniques to do with Samantha and uh, just the language that they use. I don't, I'm really sure she would not be where she's at if it wasn't for the Hope School. They've helped a lot with her, so I love Hope School. <laughs>